It was February 1960. The eyes of the world were focused on Squaw Valley as the Lake Tahoe Resort played host to the 8th Winter Olympic Games. The profound impact of the games locally, regionally, and internationally thrust Squaw Valley and Lake Tahoe onto the map as a mecca for outdoor recreation. I am here with you about to light. Thanks to new technology, Squaw Valley, Lake Tahoe, and skiers from all over the world were in the spotlight that February on the largest stage in Olympic history, the television. Of the Olympic, United States versus USSR. There's the horn, so let's switch down to the ice. From their living rooms, Americans watched for the first time as the world's best winter athletes passionately competed to take home a medal. As a result, skiing and winter sports quickly became a popular and fast-growing commodity across the nation. Peaked interest in winter sports also changed the map forever when Interstate 80 was built over the Sierra granting unprecedented access to the Sierra Nevada and Lake Tahoe. The games themselves were a Herculean achievement, born from the vision of one of the world's most recognized ski pioneers, Alex Cushing. What started as an ambitious bid from Cushing sprouted into an Olympic Games, hailed as the last of its kind where all the athletes from nations around the world stayed under the same roof, where events were held in central locations easily accessed by spectators, where the sheer beauty of the surroundings provided an unmatched backdrop for the historic events taking place, and where a true Olympic spirit of cooperation, camaraderie, community, and respectful competition was vibrantly alive. We turned our attention now to the mountain peak over our heads, KT-22, 7,000 feet high, site of the girls' downhill ski race. In many ways, a lot harder than the men's. It got its name, I'm told, for the fact that one of the first people to come down, it was not of Olympic caliber, and it took him 22 kick turns before he got down to the bottom. Now, number one in the start list, number one in our hopes. Today, Squaw Valley is still home to some of the most recognized competitions in the world. During Squaw's U.S. Alpine Championships, boundaries are pushed and champions are born. This is the stomping ground where many of the world's best athletes test their limits and achieve their dreams, at a resort also known to push the boundaries with ambitious and visionary goals.